If you've been a user of Stock Touch on your iPad, or I'm not sure there's an iPhone version, but if you've been using it on your iPad, then you'll know how to use it already. But they've released a Mac version. I'm not sure how long it's been out. I just discovered it today. Uh, let me run through it for you. The user interface is really quite simple. Here's your um, stock world uh, with the number of stocks that, that they cover. Here's your markets top three markets at the bottom. Prices are updated every few minutes. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how. You'll have to read the, um, the product information. Here's your search button at the top. You can find uh, a particular stock. So let's go in and look at Valet. It brings up um, a chart. Key statistics of the uh, the stock description of the company, recent news, and this little thing up here allows you to create market as a favorite, which is really cool because, and let's now go back to the, the sector that Valet belongs to, which is global materials, and by marking it as a favorite, the tile actually pops up. So your favorites pop out of the screen at you for viewing more clearly. The next button allows you to choose looking at the 100 largest stocks in nine sectors, US stocks only, or global stocks. The top ETFs, or just looking at your favorites. If you look at your favorites, and those are the only tiles you'll see, and they won't be broken down into uh, sectors, but you can mm -hmm. click on any one of them to go to the news, um, details of the stock, and description, or to unfavorite it. Mm -hmm. So let's go back and look at just global stocks. You can double click on a sector, mm -hmm. and it will pop up that sector for you and then you can look at any one of the stocks. Back to your nine grid. The next one allow, says, how do you want the stocks in each grid to be ordered? By percentage price change, so that the, um, it's actually, you're sorting things two ways all the time. So it's important to now, to also look at what this, little icon here represents. This will subsort your stocks from left, top left to bottom right based on one of these um, particular uh, denominators here. So let's go back here. So now we're looking at price change. Red obviously indicates the stock is losing money. Uh, green, it's up, and black, it's sort of neutral. The order in which they appear, bottom top left to bottom right of their sector, as I mentioned before, is here. So you can arrange them in a spiral with large to small cap. So here's your large cap stocks up in the top left, and your small cap stocks in the bottom right. I don't particularly find that very useful. Um, market cap, winners, arranged by percentage gains. So now you're going to have clearly your brightest green down to your brightest red, your biggest winners to your biggest losers. So if you want to see what's happening in global consumer, these are the stocks that are leading today in global consumer. These are the stocks that are trailing. If you want to see them by um, volume, then these are going to be the stocks with the greatest volume, and in the bottom right, with the least volume. So TTM right now is up 184, the volume is up 184%. And in the bottom, uh, we have 714 percent, so it looks like it's the, the reverse. So this is, your highest is going to be down in the corner. 
this is versus the S&P 500. So now your stocks are, you're looking at your 100 largest stocks in the global consumer sector. You're looking at them versus the S&P. And then the second dimension of sorting is arranged by percentage gain. You can arrange them by volume. Did I say volume before? Anyways, I think you're getting, getting the idea. You can arrange them by PE, lowest to highest, highest to lowest, by dividend yield, or alphabetical. Uh, this is on today's action. Over the weekend, you can sort everything by mm. their activity for the week. You can look at it on a three-month basis, six months, one-year basis. This allows you to refresh the prices. And um, lastly, you have information about the product. And it'll take you to a website. So I hope that information was helpful. Uh, I think it's a pretty cool product. It's something to do when you're um, snoring in front of the screen and what's happening on the market isn't all that important or interesting. You can go ahead and take a look at some, uh, some stocks of interest.